I consider myself a miner of gifts. I mine down in what is it you're really good at. Person-centered planning is an opportunity to think with a group of people about possibilities. There's always a focus person or family. I've even done this with agencies now. And it's all about the hopes and dreams of that focus entity. Person-centered planning is not about fixing. Person-centered planning is helping you discover your gift and a team working with you on how to share that gift in community. I started my work with with people with developmental disabilities and, and that's my true passion is working with people with developmental disabilities because all too often these people have been marginalized. They've been segregated or put off to the side because they don't quite fit into the box of, of what society expects of us. So often in our lives people want to evaluate us for deficits. What can we not do and let's build on that and make that better. An IEP, an indiv um, individual education plan, they look for what you're not good at and let's build goals to help you fix that. Someday I'm going to have a globe that, that shines because when people hold their gift out, they shine. We have to always presume competence in the person. When the person is talking about their hopes and dreams and they start talking about going to the moon or a spaceship, all too often the team will start to fold their hands and say, he, he'll never be able to go to the moon because um, he has perhaps a cognitive disability. Maybe he doesn't use language the way we use language or perhaps he uses a wheelchair. But you have to presume competence in their dream. What does that really mean? Have a conversation about what going to the moon is important to them. And you drill down to the, I'll call it the lowest common denominator, and we build from that. All behavior is communication. If someone's throwing a chair across the room, they're doing that to communicate something. And it may not always be what you assume. When I'm doing presentations, if someone's falling asleep in the room, it could be that I'm boring, or it could be that they just have lunch, they had lunch and they're having some kind of sugar um, low. Um, behavior is communication, and that has to be in the forefront of person-centered planning. The most important piece of person-centered planning to me is the recognition that everybody has a gift and we cannot be fulfilled with ourselves unless we are sharing that gift and others can't be fulfilled until they're allowed to share their gifts if that path that we've created in person center planning does not lead a person into a full community environment then we've failed we have not completed our task. Once this person is in community sharing their gift, their talents, then we can build a much richer, beautiful, colorful community when we all bring our gifts and our talents to the center.